Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you want to create amazing AI generated image in any style in more control than mid journey and absolutely free, this video is for you. I have been searching around for something better than I found it. I give you a walk through how to use it and how to get the most of your prompts. Let's dive it to it. This is Leonardo AI. That is really cool. To get Leonardo AI free access, we have to create a Leonardo account first. Let's do it together. The first step is to visit the Leonardo AI website. So, open up your browser and type leonardo.ai. Now, click on the Get Early Access Now button on the home page. Next, you need to enter your email address. Type in your email in the email area. Then choose Count Me In from the menu to sign up for the Leonardo AI whitelist. Now, you'll see a Join Discord button. Click on it to join the Leonardo AI Discord server. Follow the instructions on the Discord server to set up your account. You will be asked to choose a language and to provide some basic information. Next, choose your course of action for Leonardo AI. You can select from the options given on the Discord server. Now click on Priority Early Access in the Discord server. Then click on the form link provided to fill out the whitelist form. On the form page, check the box to indicate that you have joined the Leonardo AI Discord first. Then enter your Discord username and your email address. Also, enter your first name and choose submit. Great, now we just have to wait for approval. Within 24 hours, you will receive an email from Leonardo AI notifying you that your access to the platform has been granted. Okay, once you've got this email you actually need to sign up, make sure you use the same email address that you used when you clicked on the early access. When you first visit the Leonardo AI homepage, you will see the homepage with some examples and the community feed. This is where you can view some of the recent designs of other users. In the personal feed, there's nothing here yet, but when you produce some content, this is where it will show up. Moving on, there is also a section where you can train your own data set of images, and we have featured models, which are different types of models that we can use as a basis for when we create our image. Next, we have the actual AI image generator section, followed by the AI canvas. Then we have the texture generation, which has plenty of different things that we don't see in other AI art image generators. Quickly going over settings, here's my profile, and for the API, you'll need to pay extra, so forget about that for now. Coming back to the AI image generator tool, this is the main area for Leonardo AI. We've got a couple of different models we can use here. You can add a negative prompt to take out things you don't want in the image that you've created. Then when you put in your prompts, you click the Generate button. You can see in the corner that we've got 150 tokens that's per day. So this refreshes after 18 hours. It's one token per image, so we'll click one image. You've got Prompt Magic. You can choose the dimensions of your image, and you've also got the Guidance Scale, which creates the image based on how loosely or tightly you want to use the prompt. Next, we've got a couple of advanced options here, followed by the Leonardo AI image to image and image to prompt section, which is quite advanced. We'll just show this briefly, but we won't really go into it today. Now let's actually go in and do a test prompt. I'd like to create a space warrior mage character, full body, with a gradient background. To do this, we'll navigate to the image generation page and prompt the AI. Once you've prompted the AI, you'll receive a range of images to choose from. Select the base image that best suits your needs. You can then opt to upscale image to enhance the quality of the image. Other options include a MUV background download image, zoom in, zoom out image, choose for image to image, and delete image. Once you've selected your preferred image, you can begin to fine tune the results. One way to achieve this is by using the image to image option, which allows you to activate an additional prompt to accompany the text prompt. Next, play around with the initial strength to create an image that's faithful to the input image, but also creative with the results. For example, if you'd like to create a space monkey mage character, full body, use an init strength of 0.5. You can adjust the init strength to produce more or less variation in the results. 
You can also use the guidance scale to make the AI more or less weighted to the prompts you use. For instance, if you'd like a smiling space monkey mage character, full body, use a guidance scale of 10 by 20. If you want the AI to move away from the prompt, use a lower guidance scale, such as 3. And that's it. With these features and options, you can create a vast range of digital assets. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to use Leonardo AI's image generator tool. With this powerful tool, you can create stunning digital assets quickly and easily. Whether you're an artist, designer, or just someone looking to explore the capabilities of AI, Leonardo AI has something for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and updates on the latest developments in AI technology. See you in the next video.